Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Hodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. That's who these lessons are for. I'm here uh, in Georgetown, Guyana, in my grandmother's house. Now, years ago, when I first came into this truth, you know, my grandmother, she had passed away, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I had enough faith to say, let the dead bury the dead. So, I didn't take the trip down here with my parents and, you know, my different relatives that came to say their farewells and whatnot, okay? But I engulfed myself, immersed myself within the truth, okay? Which, through the grace and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I'm still in the truth to this day. Now, this image behind me, okay, of so-called Negroes cutting down sugarcane, and you have a so-called black woman here, all right, with a bucket. You see what I'm saying? It's an image of the slavery that the so-called Negroes in this land suffered by the hands of the British crown. Because America, Salaki, not America, Britain, Guyana became a, a colony of Britain because this is why Guyana is the only English-speaking country in South America. You go down to uh, Brazil, which is neighboring to Guyana, they speak Portuguese because the Portuguese conquered them. Then the rest of different, uh, you know, South American countries, Argentina, uh, Ecuador, um, what else you got? Peru, so on and so forth. They speak that Spanish. Okay? Now, there must be some retribution for this, man. And to this day, uh, sugar is one of the major exports of Guyana, man. But what you damn devils did to the people of the Most High, you're going to have to pay for. Now, my grandmother, she was about 86, 89 when she passed away. So I'm pretty sure she's seen a lot of things. As a matter of fact, when you when you go back, her grandmother was actually a slave, man. So that's only a few generations, man. So how long ago was it really? There must be some form of retribution for this, man. All right? You had a whole lot of people crying for this bitch, Elizabeth. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't crying for her, man. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So the Lord is all about an eye for an eye. Okay? You see what I'm saying? The time is going to come where the plowman is going to overtake the reaper. I'm going to pull that scripture up, man. Hey, because these goddamn devils, man, they did our people a lot of hurt, man. All right? It did our people a lot of hurt. Which all in all, it was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that allowed it. But nonetheless, they must pay for what they have done to the chosen people of the Most High. This is Amos 9 and 13. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. This right here is what you call plowing. Okay? All right? Not in the sense of with the uh, a yoke of oxen to where you're plowing a, a, a field, making those furrows to where you, you, you spreading seeds and, and, you know what I'm saying, cultivating the land. But this is a form of plowing too. Plowing is, is, is a, you know, a synonym for working, man. That's why the scriptures say, if any man put his hand to the plow and turn his back, he's not fit for the kingdom of the Most High, man. All right? But the day is going to come where the plowman is going to overtake the reaper, which we've been plowing for many years, man. And I'm talking about our people on the whole, from Judah all the way to Issachar. And they got this stigma that, you know what I'm saying, the so-called Negro, especially down here, Jamaica, so on and so forth, the different islands, that the so-called Negroes in uh, North America are lazy. And I couldn't be further from the truth. The thing about it is, so-called Negroes are worn out, man. You see what I'm saying? Hey, Salaki, you know, these niggas out here playing that, them rhythms and whatnot, man. It says, uh, 
and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. Okay? So who's sowing the seed? Our people. We're sowing the seed. All right? And these people are reaping all the benefits, you know, of our hard work, man. Okay? It says, uh, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. So what does it mean? There's going to be a lot of bloodshed, and these different nations are going to have to, you know, feel the brunt of that blow. Hey, because when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's coming, like Apostle Tahar did the video, the future of all non-Israelite nations is captivity, man. They're getting ready to go into captivity. And as we suffered for many years, they're going to suffer for many years, man. Okay? Let me bring this out. This is Isaiah, 14th chapter. And I could really, I could start at one. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob, you know, is speaking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans throughout North, South, and Central America. And those that have been scattered among the other nations, the Israelite foreigners, man. So the Lord said, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. In other words, he's going to have mercy on the whole nation of Israel. All right? And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Unbeknownst to you, to you Israelites, you know, the people down here in Guyana, in Jamaica, you know what I'm saying, these different Karakum countries, that's not your original land. Your original land is where those small hats are dwelling, calling themselves Levi and and, and, and these different uh, uh, names, man. Yehudi and whatnot, man. Your land is over there. Palestine. Okay? Which, by the way, Palestine is going to be blown to smithereens by nuclear missiles as well. All right? It says, And set them in their own land, so we're going to get our land back. Okay? When you go into the uh, the Bible, all right? You go into the um, the, uh, the different, uh, the different um, maps, and different antiquity maps of the Bible, you would see the land and how it was situated and where every tribe got their land. And when you read the scriptures, it tells you, okay? It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them. That strangers that it's talking about is talking about the Israelite foreigners, man. All right? Like down here is a high concentration of uh, so-called East Indians, Elamite, Elamites, okay? And guess what? Jake be getting down with them Elamites, man. Okay? And, and vice versa, you got the so-called black woman getting with, with Elamites and whatnot, okay? So they they pretty much, you know what I'm saying, giving birth to, to, to heathens, okay? But you got a lot of Israelites that are born, they call them Dugla down here, meaning what, that you, you're you from a black a black uh, parent and, a, uh, and an Indian parent, okay? Now, if your father is a so-called Negro and your mom's is a so-called Indian, then you'll be all right. But if, the, if it's the other way around, you're going into captivity. It says, And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Meaning what? They're going to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments and, and, you know, obey them. You know what I'm saying? And fear the name of the Lord. Furthermore, when all Israelites come back to this thing, they're going to actually be changed there's going to be the new covenant is going to be put within them which the new covenant is essentially the old covenant the only difference is the lord is going to program you to to fulfill these laws statutes and commandments you know in in uh in their fullness okay the reason why we went into things like this slavery captivity is because we did not keep the laws statutes and commandments of the heavenly father so now the heavenly father is going to bring yahweh shai who he's a healer Okay, and heal us, man. And we will shed these chains of darkness, which is these corruptible bodies, man. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So now the scripture switches. It says, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. All you so-called white people, you Arabs, you East Indians, you Chinese, which the Chinese are heavy down here also in America. Salakia, also here in uh, South America, you know, in Guyana. They heavy down here. You know what I'm saying? They they buying up all kind of real estate and just exploiting the land. 
now here it is you know recently uh exxon mobile has uh came down here to guyana to exploit uh you know they found all kind of you know oil off the coast well, i think it was five five hundred barrels oh no five billion barrels 5.5 billion barrels of uh, oil off the coast of the Atlantic uh, in Guyana. Now they're down here to exploit this land. You know how Esau get down, like the scriptures say, if he have anything, he will dwell with you. Yeah, he will overthrow you and not be sorry for it, man. Hey, but we living in a time where the Lord's getting ready to come back. Here it is, this devil, uh, Evelyn Rothschild, he just dropped dead, which back in the day we had a poster up that said pretty much that Evelyn Rothschild was Esau. Now, he could have been Esau. Who knows? All right? Because Esau, the man, is going to go into slavery with the rest of his, you know what I'm saying, with the rest of his uh, uh, lineage. All right? And all you other heathen nations are getting ready to go into captivity, man. That's what it means when it says, it says, and they shall take them and bring them to the, Shalaki, and they shall take them and bring them to their place. That place is talking about our land. You're going to be slaves over there. It says, And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. All right? So we're not going to be doing no work. We're not going to be plowing no fields. We're not going to be cutting down no cane, man. Okay? We're not going to be dealing with uh, vineyards and orchards as far as, uh, you know, cultivating them and, and, and dressing them and whatnot and then somebody else drinking the wine. No, we're going to drink the wine. And you're going to work. Thus said the Lord. And we ain't going to pay you either, man. Uh, it says, And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. All right? We were captives right here. You see this picture? It says, And they shall rule over their oppressors. And I was having a conversation with the brothers down here, and they were telling me, man, look, it's heavy oppression down here. Heavy oppression. You know what I'm saying? He's saying the so-called black man, you know, the uh the brother Isaiah, he said, hey man, the so-called black man down here is being oppressed heavily. You know what I'm saying? I've been down here for a few days and I see it. Okay. Let me see. This is um so lock it, build me one moment. Yeah, this is uh going back to Amos 9. I read 13. Let me let me read 14 now. It says, and I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel. So the Heavenly Father is gonna bring us all up out of the state that we're in, man. Hey, because we were meant to be princes of the power, man. We were meant to be the sons of the most high upon this earth and in a ruling class position. Here it is, we have become serfs. And these devils are ruling up over us, beginning with the so-called white race, man. All the way on down through the, the, the heathen nations. It says, and they shall build the waste cities. So we're going to build the waste cities because the land of Israel is going to be destroyed, okay, by nuclear missiles. The Heavenly Father is going to flush all them small hats up out of there, burn them all up. And then guess what? Then we're going to have all them slaves build that land back up. That's how the kingdom of heaven is going to be established, man. It says, and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. So what does it mean when it says we're going to plant vineyards? Are we going to be working? Fuck no. We're going to enslave these nations, and they're going to work, and we're going to reap the benefits, man. It says, they also, Salaki, they shall also make vineyards and eat the fruit thereof. That's right. So we're going to be benefiting and they're going to be suffering affliction. That's the beauty. And you should desire that, man. It says, And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land. Which one of the major reasons why we were pulled up out of our land was because we were not keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. Now, here it is. The law is going to uh, give us that, give us the law in this perfection. By putting it in our inward parts, it tells you that in the book of Hebrews, many different scriptures, and uh, Ezekiel tells you that. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? We are going to never leave that land again. The kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. They're going to have pearly gates, so on and so forth, man. It says, uh, uh, which I have given them, said the Lord, thy power. 
So that's what you should be desiring, man. Okay? Desiring the captivity of your enemies, man. When you go to Revelation 13, you know, this, this right here, we used to bring this out all the time back in the days, man. 34th Street days. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Okay, that's how we got here. That's how this this image right here was painted because of uh, an experience someone suffered, man. You know what I'm saying? My, our foreparents, my foreparents. Okay? It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Meaning the understanding. But obviously people got ears, ears on their heads, don't you? All right? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. It's a well-documented fact that Spain, you know what I'm saying? The crown of Spain, going back to Ferdinand and Isabella, okay? That they uh, employed the so-called Jew, the small hat, all right? To enslave the people on the west coast of Africa, man. Who the people on the west coast of Africa were Israelites. We had our own communities that were set up. And we went into, we ran pretty much into Africa from Roman persecution during the time of 70 AD. Okay, so that's how we got up over there. So, Cristobal Colon, he was really an Amalekite. He was a small hat. All right, he was a so-called Jew. All right, he he uh and he came over here for the crown of Spain. All right, and the slave uh, uh the people that were making the, making the ships were small hats. The people that were uh, sailing the ships were small hats. The people that were taking the cargo were small hats. And they made a deal with the Africans, which we are not Africans, okay? The people out of the west coast of uh, uh, Africa are Israelites, man. A lot of them are Israel. I ain't saying every last one of them, but a whole lot of them were many people that did not get on the ships, all right? That were not taken from the west coast of Africa. They stayed there, and they continued to populate throughout their generations, man. But the Hamites got together with the Arabs, and they sold the Israelites, okay, into the hands of the, or the small hat for the crown of Spain. And that's how so-called Negroes came over to this side of the world, you know what I'm saying, North America, Central America, so on and so forth, man. It says... He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Lord is talking about an eye for an eye, man. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So the time of retribution is going to come. You know how many people were murdered by the hand, how many slaves were murdered by the hands of uh, you so-called white people and you heathen nations? You know what I'm saying? When we were in captivity? You know what I'm saying? You know, in, 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 in its height, when we was literally, you know what I'm saying, in, in them fields cutting down Cain and you know it's spiritual because years ago I had a flashback that I was in a fucking field in a, in a sugar cane field you know what I'm saying years ago I had that dream so going back you know in the reincarnation I was I was somewhere here more than likely alright but knowing me man huh, I must have rebelled and got put to death because it's only so much I'm going to take, man. All right? Which, shit, man, the prophets of old, like Nat Turner, Gabriel Prosser, you know, so, so on and so forth, a lot of them slave rebellions, a lot of those guys were men that are in the truth today, okay? Coming back in a reincarnation. But anyway, let me keep on reading. I don't want to get too deep on some of you cats. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So who are the saints? The Israelites, man. And the word patience means to suffer. So what are we what are we patiently waiting for? What are we suffering for? We're waiting to put our enemies in captivity, man. We're going to slap chains on these devils. We're going to slap chains on the rest of these heathens, man. And drag them into captivity, kicking and screaming, man. And bleeding, okay? That's what the Lord is getting ready to do, man. Okay? I'm going to read one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. And Lord, well, this lesson was edifying. This is Isaiah 24. And I'm going to uh, go down here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Right, Isaiah 24, 21. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day. What day is that talking about? The day that the Lord returns. All right. That the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high. So when the Lord gets back here, you know what I'm saying? 
he ain't getting coming back here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, to bring peace to all nations. He's get, he's coming back here to deliver his elect and to divvy out judgment. To divvy out judgment, man. All right. You see what I'm saying? Like when you get your wages for what you worked for at the end of the week or whenever you get paid, you get your wages. They divvy out a certain amount. You people, you heathen nations, beginning with the so-called white race, you going to get your judgment divvied out unto you. Which your judgment is a thousand years of captivity. And then as you read in the book of Obadiah, you will be exterminated. Okay? The whole crown of England, all them devils are going into slavery. They're going to be the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Giddies, the Vanderbilts, all the rest of them, uh, 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 you know, the Council of 13, the Trilateral Commission, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, all these goddamn devils, man. Putin, all these devils, they all going into slavery under the Israelites. Okay? If you're of another nation, your future is captivity under the chosen people of the Most High, who are the blacks, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, They shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. Who's on high? Our people are not on high. Our people are still in captivity to this day. The so-called white race is on high. Then you got you got nations that are follow. It's like it's a list of who's who's on top, but guess who's all the way at the bottom? Our people. And though we are the majority of people, we 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 don't even have a standing army. Okay? Our people goes and, and fight for the so-called white man's army. That's how you know this man is in power. Then you look at the money around the world, okay? You, a lot of times you you in a uh, a so-called Negro country like like Jamaica and they got an Edomite or some heathen up on the on the uh, on the currency, man. All right. It says, and they shall be. Uh, let me see. And the kings of the earth upon the earth. So that's that's the role reversal. All right. So just picture this image of so-called white people. And if the spirit, if the Lord put the spirit on me, I'm gonna remember this image and I'm going I'm going fucking. Make these devils fulfill this, man. All right? And then I'm going to have somebody sketch, you know what I'm saying? Make a painting of it. You know what I'm saying? Because these devils are going into fucking slavery, man. It says, uh, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. And they shall be shut up in the prison. So as your prison system, our people make up the majority of your prison system. You know what I'm saying? Maximum security prison system, so on and so forth. A lot of people, you put them in there and they were guilty. I mean, so like it, uh, they were innocent. You're going to have to pay for that. You're going to go into captivity now. You're going to make up the majority of our, our slaves, you know what I'm saying, in the prison houses. Okay? Because the heathen nation's pretty much going to be taskmasters up over you. But we're going to be kicking them in the ass too. All right? Every brother got, you know, especially if, if a brother's in a different part of the world, every brother hate. A, a heathen nation more than the other one heathen nation more than the other so wherever that brother is at whichever prospective brother he gonna be kicking them in the ass but Esau you gonna get the worst of this this uh, uh cup man you gonna drink that cup that cup of trembling that we drank okay you gonna drink it you gonna drink the dregs of it you gonna guzzle it down man we gonna force feed it to you man you devils are gonna you gonna learn learn not to play with the Lord and his chosen people it says, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And many after many days shall they be visited. There you go. So that's captivity, man. That's captivity. All right. Giving all praises to you. by Shimi Yahweh Shai by Shimmer Kapa Dash. Lord will this lesson was edifying. Or will I be back with another one? You know, I, I should be back. Uh, Lord will Sunday, Sunday evening. I should be back in the States. And um, you know, you brothers will see me in a in a different um, you know, different surroundings. Shalom, Akim.